Manchester United have released their latest financial results for the full fiscal year. We're joined now by uh, Chief Reporter Carve Solokol to take a closer look at those results then, Carve. Uh, what stands out to you? I think uh, if you're the Glazer family, what will stand out is that uh, these are record results for an English club. Uh, so the owners of Manchester United would say, look at our business, it's doing so well. Our revenue basically last season was a record £648 million pounds. I think we've got to be a little bit careful because clubs like Manchester City, for instance, who won the treble last season, haven't released their accounts yet. And I'm pretty sure that when they do, they will break the record that Manchester United have set today. And also, when you dig deeper into the accounts, you've got to, when it's Manchester United, look at the debt and the non-current debt in dollars. That is the debt that is associated with the money the Glazers borrowed 18 years ago to buy the club. And if you look at the accounts, uh, that debt is still $650 million, uh, which in pounds is uh, £507 million. Pounds. And to service that debt last season cost Manchester United £21 uh, million. Pounds. Now, when it comes to revenue, the revenue has gone up 11%. Why has that gone up? If you look at the commercial revenue, that is up 17% because of new sponsorship agreements that the club have signed and also because of the successful pre-season tour in the US. Broadcasting revenue is down a little bit, 2%. That is because United were playing in the Europa League and not the Champions League. Europa League, you don't get as much broadcast revenue. Match day revenue, though, was up 23%. Very good, making a lot more money on match days. Why is that? because United had seven more home games. One other really interesting thing is the wage bill. Now, United used to have the biggest wage bill in the Premier League. They don't anymore. The wage bill went down by about £50 million. And I think that is all to do, again, with the fact that United weren't in the Champions League. A lot of their players in their contracts, it states that if they don't qualify for the Champions League, they have to take a wage cut. And also... Cristiano Ronaldo left the club as well midway through the season. So that saved them millions and millions on wages as well. The final point I would make is that there was a net loss. Manchester United during this fiscal year uh, lost £42 million. So a mixed picture. You could either say, wow, these are great results, record revenues. But you could also look at it and say, this is a business that lost money again and they have a big, big debt burden. Yeah, it's amidst a lot of news about the potential sale as well, of course, a story that you've been covering for many, many months uh, now. Is there anything that justifies the sort of uh, fee or valuation that the Glazers were putting on the club? <laughs> well, I think, uh, you know, there have been reports that the Glazers value Manchester United at up to £10 billion. I think most people uh, you would speak to, if they looked at these accounts, would say this is not a business that is worth £10 billion. But what the Glazers would say is this is a business in, that in the future could be worth £10 billion. And there's a lot of information in the accounts about the record number of supporters United have all over the world, the biggest waiting lists for memberships, uh, the amount of supporters clubs they have all around the world. It's undeniable that United are a big, big club, but it's also undeniable that they've been weighed down by the debt that the Glazer family loaded onto the club 18 years ago and the debt that United have been servicing for 18 years. Okay.